In this second video tutorial on organizing information in Sheets, we're going to talk about a tool or feature known as Freeze. Freeze allows you to choose rows that you want to remain at the top of your sheet or columns that you want to remain on the left-hand side of your sheet. So any other organizational tools that you apply to the sheet will not apply to rows or columns that you have frozen. This is the same sheet of information from an assessment delivered that we looked at in the previous video on alphabetizing. So in this video, if we take that same tool that we just learned about and we alphabetize the sheet by column F, because the first row at the very top that contained the questions and the heading, the score, timestamp was not frozen. When I alphabetized this uh, sheet by the information in this column, that was also alphabetized and now appears down here in row 20 and therefore just doesn't make sense anymore. So I'm going to undo that and this time before I alphabetize, I'm going to freeze that row. So I can select on row 1 if I want to freeze it or I'll have an option to just freeze the first row. The freeze option is is under the menu view and it's there at the very top. So when I choose freeze, if I choose one row, it does apply to the very top row. You can always look at a sheet and tell if any rows or columns have been frozen because the line that separates that uh, underneath or to the right in the case of a column will be thicker than, uh, than the standard cell borders that are contained in this sheet. Now if I go back to column F and I alphabetize again, you can see that the frozen row remains at the top. So this is a great way to keep your uh, question at the top of your sheet, but also to keep student names on the left, the score on the left, timestamp, things like that. If you want to keep a set of rows at the very top, like let's say I want all of the rows down through row 12 to be frozen, if I select the last row that I want to remain frozen, return to view, freeze, and then choose up to current row, you can see now that border, that thick line, has jumped all the way down underneath of row 12. And now if I alphabetize or do anything else to change the order of data contained in my sheet, it does not apply to the first 12 rows. And again, freeze works on columns or rows as long as you're holding them at the top or on the left.